Hello. One of the most important areas where everybody gets confused is the difference between global warming, acid rain and ozone hole. Okay. But generally these three topics are in three different units. However, students often tend to make mistakes when they are writing the answers regarding global warming, acid rain and ozone hole. In this class, we will see the exact difference between the three phenomena which are completely unrelated to each other and yet have very specific points to them. Let's go now. So global warming, what is global warming? Uh, at the outset, what it means is you have the earth and you have sunlight coming in at different radiations. The most important of them is infrared radiation or IR radiation. So generally in a greenhouse, in a glass house in earth, what happens is when the radiation comes in, sunlight, much of the radiation is trapped within the house and so heat is generated. You can use this in cold countries to grow crops. The same principle appears in IR radiation but instead of glass, you have greenhouse gases. The most important greenhouse gases are CO2 and methane, CH4. When these gases, when IR radiation hits either CO2 or CH4 present in the atmosphere, what will happen is these gases, they start vibrating. And when they vibrate, it is like rubbing your hands together. So you produce a lot of heat. So this heat is what you see as global rise in temperature. Now, the first step that I told you is, there is a lot of carbon dioxide, there is a lot of methane, these are the most important greenhouse gases. From here, when infrared radiation from the sunlight is incident on these greenhouse gases, they tend to vibrate and they will produce heat which leads to rise in global mean temperature. Once it rises, global mean temperature rises, this will lead to melting ice caps. What does this mean? This means that you have our planet Earth here and you have ice at the poles. And when IR radiation is incident on carbon dioxide and methane, then these ice caps, they start melting. They add on to the water which is already present in the ocean thus raising the sea level. Now from here things start getting more serious. There is a sea level rise. Now once the sea level rises this becomes a very serious problem because you see when the sea is at a normal rate the evaporation also happens at a very normal rate but when you have a sudden influx of fresh water coming inside the sea what happens is the rate of evaporation also changes. When the rate of evaporation changes and the earth is turning all the time, this leads to a condition called change in climate. Now how does this happen? This happens because there is a change in the ocean current and there is a change in the air current. Because of this, there is a climate change. So please remember that global warming leads to climate change, not the other way around. And please do not write anything like global warming causes disease or anything like that because number one, there is an emission of greenhouse gases. Number two, what are those greenhouse gases? You should mention at least two, carbon dioxide and methane. Number three, when infrared radiation is incident on these greenhouse gases, they start to vibrate and they will produce heat. This leads to rise in global mean temperature. Once the global mean temperature rises, point number five, what happens is, the sea level rises. Once the sea level rises, the climate change occurs. So that is why you have rainfall when there should not be a rain and you have excess sunlight when it should be raining. So this is the reason and these are the points that you should write for global warming. And these points are only for global warming. They should not be confused with anything else.